In this video, we're going to take a look at the Samsung 990 Pro NVMe SSD. This uses the PCIe G4 interface to get incredibly fast speeds. This is a great option if you want to use it as an external drive, or you could also use it on a boot drive on compatible computers. Samsung promises speeds on this drive of up to 7400 megabytes per second on the read and 6900 megabytes a second on the write. I have this USB 4 enclosure that I've been testing it with by Sateki, and I've been getting speeds of about 3100 megabytes a second on the right side and 3000 megabytes a second on the read. This is a very fast drive and you're going to be limited to the speeds of whatever your enclosure or your computer's motherboard provides. What's great about M2 SSDs is they're super easy to install. Here we've got this external SSD and all you have to do is insert it at an angle, press it in, and then you just use the little pin to hold it down once you have it installed. And then you can put the cover on the SSD enclosure and you're ready to use this as an external SSD. Whenever you plug this into your computer for the first time, it will probably tell you that you need to initialize and format the drive. So make sure that you format it in the best format possible for whatever computer or device you're using it with. The 990 Pro is available in one, two, and four terabytes. I have the one terabyte version of it, and all of them come with a five year warranty, but the one terabyte version of it gives you a 600 terabytes written guarantee, and the two and four terabyte versions are rated for even more terabytes written. So this is sure to be a drive that'll last a long time. The one terabyte version of this retails for about $100, which is right in line with some of the other extremely fast one terabyte SSDs. So overall, I highly recommend the 990 Pro. I have no issues with it reaching the speeds that any enclosure I've put it in has advertised. It's gonna be a very great, fast, and reliable SSD. If you're looking to buy one, I do have links in the description below. If you have any other questions about this drive, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them.